do the big guns of The Rock ever inspire you to go to the gym? Because every time when I see Rock's massive biceps, my mind forces me to go to the gym. Okay, I agree that's the different matter that I don't have that bigger arms. But you also want to get bigger biceps. Do you also want to pump your biceps? We all want bigger biceps and therefore want to know what the best bicep exercises are that will build muscle. Well, most of us do. Imagine yourself in a fitted white t-shirt, how sexy your presence will be. Yes, some people will say exercising your biceps in isolation is stupid. We understand, but some days we just long for the pump. And you know what? There's no shame in that. Welcome to Mindex. In today's video, we'll discuss some efficient exercises to make your biceps attractive. But before we make it to the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more premium content and hit the notification bell to be the first to watch our videos. Therefore, to jump directly into the exercises first, see the bicep structure, which you can understand everything clearly. Your biceps are, in fact, a large group of muscles located in the front of your upper arm. He knows the one we are talking about. You stare at long enough to change. In Latin, it is known as the biceps brachii, meaning the two-headed arm of the arm. And why is that? Well, your biceps are divided into two parts, a long head and a short head. Both heads come off the scapula, the shoulder blade, and join together between the arm to form the muscle we once loved and knew. A short head arises from the side of a scapula called a coracoid. It runs near the long inner head of the arm. The long head extends from the gap of the glenoid scapula, passing through the shoulder joint to the upper arm. Building big biceps does not have to be difficult. Just that you are probably doing something wrong curls will get you by now. Of course, we did not believe it first. In fact, there are plenty of bicep exercises out there, which is more than enough to make all your training sessions different, and we will show you the most effective ones. One of the main reasons why people's biceps do not grow as big or as fast as they would like is that they fail to realize that the bicep is actually divided into more than one part. Many boys tend to focus only on brachii. But you want strong arms, which look full. You need to work in all areas of the bicep before moving on to the gym first look at what not to do while doing biceps workouts so avoid going down. The eccentric phase, lowering, is as important as the eccentric phase, lifting. Keep both parts of the movement in mind and you not forget to control the upper extremities, keeping the tension in all movements. Another mistake is to avoid swinging. The slightest pressure at the end of your set is understandable, perhaps acceptable, but we would not accept lifting too much weight and using your body weight to lift a dumbbell. Men are deceitful. Keep your body straight and motionless. Now let's take a look at some effective exercises. Triangle push-up. Out of all the triceps exercises included in the A study, the triangle push-up was determined to be the most effective at working your triceps. Best of all, you just need your body weight to do this exercise. Do a triangle push-up. Get into traditional push-up position with only your toes and hands touching the floor. Place your hands below your face with your forefingers and thumbs touching, forming a triangle between your hands while keeping your torso and legs straight. Slowly lower your body so that your nose comes close to your hands. Push your body back up to its starting position being careful not to arch your back or let it sag. Repeat 12 to 15 times. If this is too difficult at first, try doing triangle push-ups with your knees on the floor but your torso rigid. Tricep Kickback The A study found that tricep kickbacks are close behind triangle push-ups in giving your triceps a complete workout. This exercise can also be done by using just one arm at a time and then switching arms once you've completed a set with the first arm. To do a tricep kickback, Hold a dumbbell in each hand, with your palms facing inward. Bend your knees slightly. Inch forward at your waist, keeping your back straight and your core engaged, until your upper body is almost parallel to the floor. With your arms close to your side, bend your elbows so that the dumbbells come up alongside the side of your chest. Slowly straighten your forearms, keeping your upper arms still. Hold for a second, then bend your elbows until the dumbbells are in the starting position, close to your chest. Repeat 12 to 15 times. If only using one arm at a time, rest for a minute, then switch arms and repeat. Dips This exercise can also be done at home without a dip stand. You can place your hands, palm down behind you on a flat bench or chair. You can then perform dips in front of the bench or chair with your hands behind you. To do dips, stand in between the rails of a dip bar. Grip each bar with your arms straight down by your side. You may need to bend your knees to keep from touching the floor. Slowly bend your elbows and lower yourself until your upper arms are almost parallel to the floor. 
Straighten your arms until you're back at your starting position. Repeat 12 to 15 times. Overhead extension. An overhead extension is typically done with a single dumbbell. Use a lighter weight to start and switch to a heavier weight once you get used to this exercise. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, with one foot slightly in front of the other for balance. You can also do this exercise while sitting on a bench. Place both hands around the dumbbell handle. Lift the dumbbell up over your head so that your arms are straight. Slowly bend your elbows to a 90 degree angle so that the dumbbell finishes behind your head. Slowly straighten your arms so that the weight is above your head again. Barbell curl. With this classic bicep exercise, it's important to keep your back straight and avoid moving your body, except for your arms. You want to make the biceps do all the work, so you may need to start with a lighter weight at first. To do a barbell curl, stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. Hold the barbell with your arms at your side, palms facing out. While exhaling, slowly curl the barbell up toward your chest. Keep your chest still, using only your arms to lift the barbell. Hold the position for a second, then slowly lower the barbell to its starting position. Repeat 12 to 15 times. Chin up. The chin up requires a sturdy chin up bar that's high enough off the ground that your feet won't touch the floor when your arms are extended. To do a chin up, stand under the chin up bar and reach both arms up so that your palms are facing you. Grab the bar with both hands. You may need to jump or step up to reach the bar. With a firm grip and your thumbs wrapped around the bar, steady your body. It may help to cross your legs for more stability. While exhaling slowly, pull your body upward by bending your elbows. Keep your elbows in front of you as you focus on letting your biceps pull you up to where your chin meets the bar. Pause for a moment, then slowly lower yourself to the starting position before repeating the move again. Here is the bonus one. The hammer curl has the lifter curl dumbbells with their palms facing each other. This neutral wrist position is more comfortable and allows the lifter to hoist more weight as we're generally stronger with the palms facing position. This move also targets the biceps bracialis and brachioradialis, outer biceps and forearm, for more arm thickness. How to do the hammer curl? Hold a dumbbell in each hand while standing. Turn your wrists so that they're facing each other. Keep your arms tucked in at your sides and flex your elbows to curl the dumbbells up towards your shoulders. Lower them back down with control. Benefits of the hammer curl. The neutral wrist position is more comfortable. You can lift more weight with the hammer curl, so over time, you accumulate more muscle building volume. The hammer curl targets the inner biceps muscle and the forearm to build denser arms. Hope you find it helpful. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you will never miss any updates. See you in the next one.